All right, so on my channel, I've talked about big batteries. I talked about the AC200, the EB150, which is what I have behind my seats here uh, in the truck that powers pretty much everything there in the cab. And I uh, recently did the video on the EB70. And then this is the AC50S. It's the uh, most compact battery, well, one of the most compact batteries that Blue Eddy has. And I really like this, this one for truck camping. It's got some features on it, which I think are, are ideal. Number one, like there's no corners on it, and this is all rubber. So if you bump, bump it up against something, it's not gonna, not gonna damage the battery. The handles on it are great. Pulling, um, uh, hauling this thing around, you know, it's real sturdy. And also too, they don't rattle at all. So like if this is bouncing around your vehicle and you're going down bumpy 4x4 roads, it's not going to make any noise, which is real nice. Um, it's got the LG uh, lithium ion uh, technology battery cells in it. So that's really safe, good technology. Uh, it's a 500 watt hour battery, like total as far as the capacity. And you can continuously pump out 300 watts of power out of this um, before it'll trip up. So like that little space heater that I have, that's 250 watts. I can push that with this, this little battery. Another feature that makes this really nice for truck camping or vehicle camping in general is the fact that on the back here you got this light so you can use this around camp and then you also have an SOS light. So you can put this down next to your vehicle if you're broken down on the side of the road or if you're at camp and you need help and maybe you got search and rescue coming to get you or whatever. You can put this out as kind of like a signal as to where you're, where you're at and also a way to get help. So I think that's a really great idea to have on here. I mean the flashlight itself, it's pretty bright. So at, at, light, at night, obviously it's daytime, you can't really see, but at night this thing, <laughs> This thing lights it up pretty good. So it's a, it's a very good one. And then you got a low one too. So you don't want it, if you don't want it so bright around camp. Having this and having the availability to take this out of here and just kind of run around and have power is really nice because the EB150 that I have in the back seat, it's really a great battery. It's really robust. It powers everything, but it's heavy and it's cumbersome to pull around. This isn't. I mean, this is like the size of a big lunch pail or, or a small lunch pail uh, box, and it's not very heavy at all. I don't know the exact weight. I'll look it up and put it down in the, the, the notes below. But uh, as far as the battery goes, I mean, I'm just really impressed with this design. It's really perfect for truck camping. All right, so I want to show you all the ports that are on the, the AC50S. You've got your 12 volt, 10 amp uh, cigarette lighter. That's going to run your fridge, you know, different things like that, possibly your cell phone booster. You also have two 12 volt, 3 amp plugs. And what you can get is you can get um, little, uh, looks like cigarette lighter extension plugs, and they plug in there so you can actually have three of them instead of just one. But you've got, that, this one's 10 amp, so obviously it charges a lot faster. This is 3 amp. So this one provides more power. Uh, so that's for the direct current on those. Uh, the direct current down here, you've got the, the PD 45 watt, that, that direct uh, charge. This is what I use for charging up my laptop. So I just take my, my cord here, plug it in, plug it right into my, my uh, MacBook Pro and I'm good to go. You've also got uh, four USB plugs and these are five volt three amps for the four USB plugs down there. You know, one thing I just wondered is that I don't know if the wireless charging on the top here, because you've got 10 watts of wireless charging that, that you can do on the top of the AC50S. And I'm wondering if that's direct current or AC. I think it's probably direct current, I would imagine, for the wireless charging, but I don't know. So I'm going to look into that and I will put a note in the description right now to say what that is. Because I don't, I don't know. I was just thinking about that. I'm like, I've never actually looked into that. So, because I was getting ready to go into the AC power, the AC outlets. And I'm like, I don't know if this is AC or DC, but I don't know. I'll, I'll figure it out. Okay, so for the alternating current, though, you've got the two plugs in the front here, the 110s. So you just take normal devices and plug it into there. But, you know, if you're going to be living this lifestyle, uh, dredge current is the way to go because you just save save energy. When you have uh, the AC right here, it takes dredge current in and then converts it to AC, and you actually lose a little bit of watts on that. So you lose a little bit of power. So oops, got the light on here. All right, we got it turned off. All right, so there's three different ways to charge this. You've got solar, you've got a car charger, and you've got a wall charger. And... The charge controller in here, I think the website that Blue Eddy has, I think there's a misprint on it because it says it has a 200 watts uh, that it allows in there, but it actually allows 120. So um, the wall, car, well, the car only goes to 100 because I don't have a one that's uh, powerful enough to go up to 120 uh, watts going in there. But the, the solar and the wall all just do 120. That's what I'm experiencing with it. So um, they do have a, a package deal. 
So I think it was just a misprint on the website because with the package deal they have, it's a 120 watt panel and this. So that's actually a perfect fit. So what I like about it though, is like the battery is super compact. If you get the 120 watt panel with it and have that as the combo, like you'll be able to charge this thing. Even in the winter time when the sun is hard to come by, you only need like five or six hours of full sun to be able to charge this up and you're good to go. A couple of things like the, the specs for the Blue Eddy AC50S. Like I said, it's a 500 watt hour total capacity battery. Continuously, it can it can continuously push 300 watts. What I like to do is when I'm driving around is, you know, I've got the solar panel on top, which charges the EB150 in the back seat, but in the front seat, I've got a little space next to my backpack. I can take the car charger and it's just a 12 volt, you know, just plug it in your cigarette lighter. And that can actually charge this uh, AC50S battery up in full within about five hours. So if I'm road tripping to somewhere and I wanna get there and have a full battery for this when I get there, it's no problem. I mean, it charges it up 100%, which is really convenient. So to give you an example of like the appliances that you could run with this and how much time you could actually run each appliance, let's run in this list real, real quick that Blue Eddy provides for us. For a CPAP machine, you're looking at six hours. A mini fridge, if you're pulling 40 watts, which that's actually a lot, you're not gonna pull that much if you have like direct current. But if you have a mini fridge pulling 40 watts, you could push it for like 10 plus hours. Uh, mine, Let's see, I wonder how much mine pulls. I'd have to do a test on that. But I've, I've noticed that I can actually run my fridge for about 24 hours with this with this battery. And I've got the Dometic uh, CFX3, um, CFX3, yeah, CFX345 liter. For the iPhones 11 and 12, you're looking anywhere from 20 to 40 times of a recharge for, for those devices. For a laptop like mine, if you're looking at 60 watts, you're looking at like six to seven charges for full charge on the laptop. Uh, for the GoPro, 80 plus charges, which is fantastic. And then for a drone, uh, like if you're looking at like the middle of the road drone, it's about 18 charges. So just to give you some real world examples of what that what this can push. And then also too, like I was saying, it pushes my little small space heater that I have in here, which is fantastic for when it's uh, shoulder season and kind of cold. So if you're looking for a great battery that's not gonna break the bank, that's portable and uh, is mighty, I would say go with this one. I'll put the link in the video description below if you wanna check it out. And um, I'm real pr impressed with Blue Eddy. They've got all different sizes of batteries. So that's why I like to go in with them initially is that the tower battery is perfect for behind the seat. And then this one's perfect for having with me back here in the toppers. So those two together, you don't ever have a need for additional power. In closing, I just want to take a second real quick and thank Blue Eddy for always listening to us when we did these reviews because when they send out these batteries to us and say, hey, would you test these in the field for us and we provide feedback, they actually make the changes to the batteries that we uh, that we suggest. If you're looking for a battery for nomad life, whether it's part-time or full-time, this will suit you well. So it's nice and portable, it's small and mighty, and it doesn't break the bank. So links in the video description below. Thanks for watching. Have a good night.